uh, Lawrence just did a normal set there. <laughs> Saw him do that at the improv. <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk about good. Um, I think a press up or down. Looks like it's down. <laughs> good. This is an in-depth study on why positive moral ethics are superior in the 21st century in the United States of America, particularly New York, with a focus on Manhattan and an emphasis on the Upper West Side. Target market achieved. Here we go. All right. Now, I'm showing you a photo right now. Probably the most iconic good versus evil photo you will ever see. Jesus versus the devil. This is what we think of when we think of good versus evil. Now, I'm going to change the photo real quick. You might not notice the difference. I'll tell you when I change it. This photo is actually changing, just so you know. Here we go. I changed it. Could you tell? I'll go back. Okay, now this is actually the original photo. This is the other photo. This is a different photo. It's hard to tell. Original, new. Original, this is a new one. Okay, Sylvester Stallone is probably the number two goodest dude of all time. It's inverted. After, hey, I fucking tried to uninvert it. I know. Right, it's inverted. I think we're ruining everything. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, yeah, I think we get the pictures. This is Jesus as the devil. Uh, now, really, this just made me think about the movie Over the Top, yeah. um, which is an important film about arm wrestling, truck driving, and love. Okay? Now, let's look at these things. Arm wrestling, that's a good thing. <laughs> truck driving, that's a good thing. Love. That's a good thing. This is where I decided to make a complete PowerPoint presentation based on the 1987 film, Over the Top. Okay. Now this was a movie made in 1987. It's an action drama film. It's a starring vehicle for Sylvester Stallone, who you might recognize from any number of movies. Most importantly, probably the Rocky series. There's six movies in that. He's also in the Rambo series. There's four films in that series. Um, it was written by Sterling Silifat. Uh, not a lot of other stuff from him. Uh, looked into it. It was directed by Menahem Golan. Uh, he's an Israeli director. Not a lot of other stuff coming out of that guy either. Um, it did not receive any Academy Awards, which leads me to just think they did not have them in 1987. Okay. Now, in this film, Lincoln Hawk is a struggling trucker who arm wrestles on the side to make extra cash while trying to rebuild his life. Um, I don't know what he's trying to rebuild. It sounds fucking awesome to me. He just gets to drive a truck and arm wrestle for money. That's awesome. So he's out there, he's driving around, and now he's got a wife named Christina. She's Lincoln's estranged wife. She is dying. It's in quotations because I never explains it. It's just like I'm real sick and then, and then that's all you know. Um, so she gives Lincoln a call one day and she's like, hey, our son Mike, who is Lincoln's estranged son, is a rich spoiled kid. Um, he's getting out of school. It's in Colorado. I'd love for you to go pick him up and get to know him a little bit. And then Sylvester Stallone is like, Oh, fuck yeah. He's very excited. He likes his son. There's one problem, guys, and that is Cutler, okay? Cutler is, Cutler is the bad guy in this movie. He's Lincoln's uh, estranged wife's uh, dad. So he doesn't like Lincoln at all. He's like, you ran away from my wife and his son. He's a bad guy. He's real rich. He sucks. Okay. Now, Lincoln and Mike. <laughs> from the film, okay? He drives around, he's driving around brute. That's a good thing. Okay? Just keep it on task here. They get to California, and driving their first look, and they're not so, they don't know if they like each other or not, it's a little strange, uh, but throughout this little film, it's pretty exciting, first 30 minutes, they get to like each other, he lets them drive, look at that, friends now! 
That's a good thing. That's so good. Father and son love each other, but they took a lot of time getting there. By the time they get to California, Christina dies. No. I know, that stinks. That sucks. Uh, that's her real grave. Uh, so she dies. And now Mike's mad at him. He joins Colors team and they say, get the fuck out of here. And Lee is so bummed out, so he does what any of us would do. He goes to Vegas to arm wrestle for money! USA! USA! I mean, this is not an easy tournament, guys. This is Mad Dog Madison's there, Harry Bosco, you got Carl Adams and John Grizzly. These are tough guys, not to mention the toughest guy, Bull Hurley. This is a really tough, tough guy to arm wrestle. It's hard, okay? Back in California. Mike finds a bunch of letters Lincoln had written him, but Cutler had been hiding. Yeah. Letting him know, hey, my dad cares about me. I'm out of here. I gotta go catch up with him in Vegas. So now he heads to Vegas. Cutler goes to Vegas and slides in Vegas. Everybody's in Vegas now. This is great. And John Goss, this is John Goss, he's probably in Vegas too. Yeah. So yeah, they're all hanging out in Vegas. Um, this is a part, of the, a part of my set I want to take, take a step back and say that uh, you can see here they're hanging out on set, they probably real good friends in real life, and I think that's real cool. I bet Sylvester gave him all sorts, of, all sorts of Hollywood tips, which is really nice. I just wanted to let you guys know that I bet that he's a really cool guy. Uh, okay, back on track. Uh, so Mad Dog Madison's up first, defeated. Yeah. Harry Bosco, defeated. Carl Adams, defeated. And John Grizzly, defeated. Oh man, that's exciting, guys. And uh, now Bull, Hur Bull Hurley's there. And keep in mind, uh, Cutler and Mike are watching all these arm wrestling matches. And they get, get ready for this one, and they're like, oh, well, this is gonna be, he's probably going to lose. Nope. Defeat it, guys. Yeah. After Color sees him defeat all these guys arm wrestling, he thinks, ah, this guy's probably a pretty good, pretty good person. <laughs> I think he could handle a son. So he gives up Mikey and goes, yeah, you can go hang out with your dad who arm wrestles for money. He seems pretty cool. Uh, and then it's great, they both hug, and it's the end of the movie, and it's really fantastic. It's very exciting. Um, not, not quite done yet. I, I made a little <laughs> made a, a, a chart that is based on my interest level uh, as I watched the film, um, and it was at a hundred percent almost the whole time. Um, oh my gosh! Just found I could do that. Real bummed out. Yeah. Okay, you will see it was at a hundred percent immediately when I knew I was watching a truck driving around the city. So stoked. Now you see this peak here, it went up to 130% interest. That, oh, that is the point where Lincoln and Mike work out on the truck yeah. uh, as day breaks to meet me halfway by Kenny Loggins. Yeah. I, I could not get enough. <laughs> and back to just being happy as hell. <laughs> um, as you can see, the movie... <laughs> Universal praise. 100 percent. 100 percent. Critics, fans alike. Uh, best film of all times. Peter Travers, Roy Sonja. That's pretty cool. Um, so that is just staying on track here. A good thing. Yeah.